This is Grammar Lesson, Chapter 10, Lesson 4, and the date is April 27th. Today I am going to do sentences 1 and 2 with you, and you will do sentence 3 on your own. Let's look at sentence 1 and read it together. The company offered my dad a special deal for a wireless phone. Who offered? Company offered. What did the company do? Company offered. And what did he offer? The um, company offered a deal. Now the reason I know that it's a deal that would be my direct object is because this part of the sentence, for a wireless phone, is going to be a prepositional phrase. So here's my prep for what? For a phone, object of the preposition. Then we can go ahead and put our adjectives in, our article adjective and our regular adjective. Um, so that's kind of interesting to have to figure out what the direct object is. So what did they offer? Did they offer a phone? No, they offered a deal. Now, to whom was the deal given? It was given to dad. So here's my indirect object. So sometimes we have to think through what exactly is it that is the direct object, okay? So we've got um, article adjective. Here's another article adjective. Um, special is going to be an adjective that tells more about the deal. Uh, my, PPA, you recognize that as PPA, it's a possessive. It's a pronoun, and it is an adjective, PPA. So we can underline the subject one time. We can underline the predicate part two times. This is just a declarative sentence, so we're going to put a D at the end. And you know that in the blank we're going to write subject noun, Verb transitive, indirect object, direct object, pattern three. Hey, did you notice that I did something wrong? I forgot to put my VT here. Sometimes that happens, and putting your, um, your labels on your blank sometimes gives you the reminder, oh, I better make sure that it's verb transitive. So I'm going to come back and put verb transitive. That's very important. And, you know, sometimes when we look at a sentence and we try to figure out what the um, direct object is. And here we also had this object of the preposition that might trip us up a little bit. Sometimes it's nice to just go back and make sure that you put verb transitive there. Okay, sentence two. I miss you guys. Sentence two. Yesterday, our teacher read us an exciting story about wild horses. Who read? Teacher read. What did the teacher do? Teacher read. Now, I know that the teacher read something. What, what is it? So that would be our direct object. The teacher read story. The teacher didn't read horses. Teacher read story. So here's your direct object. Go back and make this verb transitive. To whom did she read the story? She read us. And article adjective, exciting adjective. What about the word about? I hope you said preposition. About what? Wild horses. So horses is the object. The object of the preposition has to be a noun. Wild is adjective. Okay, let's go back to our right here. Our is a PPA. Let's talk about that. It shows possession. It's a pronoun. And it's an adjective telling more about the teacher. Yesterday adds to what? Yesterday adds to the verb because it tells when the teacher read. So this is going to be adverb. Okay, for our subject we're going to underline our teacher 
And our predicate part is read us an exciting story about wild horses. Um, this is a declarative. And now we need to figure out how to underline yesterday. Well, this little comma gives us an idea about that. This comma tells us that yesterday, the adverb is adding to the predicate part of the sentence. So this is the predicate part. Think back to a few months ago when we talked about this at school, that um, if I can put the word yesterday at the end of the sentence, it would sound like this. Our teacher read us an exciting story about wild horses yesterday. So because I moved that adverb to the beginning of the sentence, I can put it here and put a comma. It sounds pretty grown up to have it written this way. Yesterday, our teacher read us an exciting story about wild horses. So that puts the adverb at the beginning and it is part of the predicate part. So in your blank, you're going to do subject noun, verb transitive, indirect object, direct object, and pattern three. Checking to make sure I put verb transitive? Yes, I did. Okay, sentence three is for you to do on your own. Good luck with that. See ya.